In this video, we are going to talk about adding and subtracting decimal numbers. There is the objective. Now, two things we need to remember. First, we need to stack our numbers. We need to line up the decimals. All right, by lining up the decimal points, you're actually lining up the place values of both numbers. We also need to fill in with zeros. Okay, this is especially true when you are subtracting decimals because honestly, you might make a mistake when you're subtracting if you don't have those zeros in there. Here's example one. We have two numbers. We are going to line up the decimals. So let's stack them and line them up. There we go. Notice that in the second add-in, we have a three in the thousandths place. Let's fill in a zero right above it. That's better. Now this is addition. Would it have killed us not to have that zero? Probably not, but I think it's a good habit to get into. And then we just add or subtract. In this case, we'll add. Pretty easy. All right, so what happens when your number appears to not have any decimal points? So how would you write $9 if there are no cents? So how would we write that out? Well, we would just put a decimal in two zeros. There it is, it's $9. So notice where the decimal point is. We put that decimal point to the right of that nine. It's to the right of the whole number. And we added a couple zeros in this case because it was money. So let's move on to example two. And the reason why this is important is because notice we have nine minus three and four hundred sixty two thousandths and we need to line up the decimals we can't just put that nine under the two because it's a single digit first of all nine is larger than three and and so it needs to remain on top and we must give him his decimal point which is to the right of the whole number now we can fill in with zeros now we can subtract and you can see we'll be subtracting across zeros, so we got to be very careful, but we should end up with our answer. 